Hamas' stated purpose for existing is the destruction of the state of Israel and the murder of Jewish people. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. A deep divide in the Democratic Party is forming over President Joe Biden's ability to address the Israel-Hamas war. The conflict has killed more than 1,400 Israelis and thousands of Palestinians and could complicate President Biden's re-election effort in 2024. A new poll by the Associated Press Nork Center for Public Affairs Research shows nearly half of Democrats disapprove of how Biden is handling the Israel-Palestine conflict. Less Democrats support Biden on the issue now compared to an AP Nork poll from August. Public opinion on what's going on in Gaza, on the war, is very divided, particularly amongst younger people in the Democratic Party. Um, President Biden undoubtedly understood this very well when he made his decisions. He knew the political risk that he was running by his uh, full support for Israel's uh, right to defend itself against a terrorist attack. But that doesn't mean that it's not a challenge that he has to face and uh, a balancing act politically. Uh, The fact is that the Biden administration has begun to nuance its position somewhat uh, and talk more about not only the need to provide for humanitarian support for Palestinian civilians caught in the fighting and the need to protect uh, innocent civilian lives, but also talking about the day after to try to find a way forward to resolve the broader Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The same AP Nork survey found that four in 10 Democrats favor the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. Yet, both Biden's ardent backers and his critics acknowledge the practical difficulties involved. In in the Biden administration wants a two-state solution. Everyone also recognizes that there can be no two-state solution while Hamas is still governing Gaza. Hamas is against a two-state solution. And we shouldn't be focused on Hamas. Hamas is not uh, going to be a part of the solution uh, to this problem. We need to talk about the Palestinians, and there needs to be an agreement and a a, uh, a resolution of this conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, building on the legitimate desires of both people to live in peace, to live in security, uh, to be able to go about their daily lives without the threat of violence. Uh, And that needs to be where the president is looking. Nathan Algren, The Associated Press.